What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and we are back with another vlog. Girl, like I said, actually did I say? Like I mentioned in my last vlog, I am going to a concert with my mama today. We are going to see Shaggy Girl. I call myself doing me a little, a little half up, half down. I have never styled my hair for real before. So this is this is real different for me. And the hair ain't really dried down yet. I should have like blow dried it, but girl, I, I don't feel like it. Like doing this was a lot for me. Cause I don't be doing styles, girl. Best you're gonna get out of me is a curl. Like with the curling on and I, I barely do it right. So this is kind of cute. Like, I mean, I can't wait to see it, what it looks like when the hair dries down, but as of right now, it's cute the curls are definitely popping so i think this is good for the concert because i didn't want like all the hair in my face like especially once it dried down but let me try to show y'all what i got on okay let's see i guess i could put y'all down some more okay so i have on this white shirt i think i got it from h&m and then these pink pants that I got from Shein. They are like wide leg, but I'm just gonna wear my um my forces because I don't really care about them and I don't really care about these pants either. But I think it's cute. Like I feel like the pop of color is cute and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna wear a cute little like black jacket. I don't know how I feel about the outfit. Like it ain't like I'm like over the moon about it, but this is a uh, kind of like an old school concert, I would say, shaggy. And then, um, like this outfit is comfortable. That's what I actually like about it. It's comfortable. So I will probably see y'all once I get there. This concert is in Concord, so it is outside. This is gonna be the second time I went to this um, venue. The first time I went, I saw Janet Jackson. So um, yeah, I can't wait, y'all.
You got the Trinidad and white, the Asian white, the Asian white, the Caucasian white, and the bad boy Jamaican white. Allow me to demonstrate to you the Caucasian white. Just play. <laughs> Got a white guy over there. Like... Allegedly. <laughs> See, I don't know about no other wine. The only wine I know about is the bad boy get you pregnant, Jamaica. Allow me to demonstrate to you the bad boy get you pregnant. So make them like insert some clips well <laughs> oh my gosh i'm tired y'all it's like one o'clock in the morning right now i just got home and um the concert was really really good it's funny because i was actually with my mama when she bought them tickets but i have no idea like why i was not aware of who was going to be there So, like, I was kind of surprised because it was Shaggy was the headliner, which was interesting. But um, I think it will make more sense when I tell y'all more. So, it was Shaggy, it was TLC, In Vogue, and Sean Kingston. We made Sean Kingston because we were running a little bit late. And then the line to get to parking was very long. My mama was happy we missed Sean Kingston because she did not want to see him. Girl, I mean, oh, look at that. I didn't really like um, care to see him. Like I only knew Beautiful Girl. And that's the song we heard him singing when we were actually like walking into the venue. Um, I wanted to see what he looked like. I mean, I know I could get on Google and see, but I just wanted to see him perform. Cause the last time I heard about Sean Kingston, he had fell off somebody um, jet ski. So, you know, we just wanted to check up on him. So, uh, In Vogue was so good. I don't know if it's like the original In Vogue. Not sure, girl. But they were so good. And um, they had, they performed a lot of hits. They was like really into it. They was performing songs that wasn't their songs. But it was still like really good. They was really into it. It was good. And then um, TLC... I did not know I was about to be seeing TLC today. Um, it was so good. Like you would probably wonder if you haven't seen TLC, like how is TLC without Left Eye? Like how do they do it? And they still use her verses. They don't just cut it out. They still use her verses. Um, and you know, they just do like, a they just dance through it and the audience still goes up for it. Cause you know, Left Eye has some iconic verses. But what was really special is I guess this is one of the last shows, if not their last show, because my mama told me that T-Boss is actually dealing with sickle cell. I had no idea, but I guess she's had sickle cell throughout their career, but it's probably, you know, you know, getting worse um, or, you know adding you know it's it's probably just getting too much to handle so 
they're not going to be touring anymore. This is going to be like their last tour. And I don't even think they're finishing this tour. Um, so it was really nice to see them. I've never seen them before. It was They performed some good songs. Red Light Special, Waterfalls, No Scrubs, um, Pretty Light. Like, it was so good and the audience went up for them honestly like i say it's interesting that shaggy was the headliner because really quiet as it's kept the people was there for tlc because when tlc was there i think i showed y'all um the audience when tlc was performing it was full everybody was standing up like they we put some respect on their name like everybody was standing up there in their set um they even had a uh like a breakdown in the middle where they was just like doing songs i don't know if that was to give t boss a break but to you know that's kind of like what a headliner does like in the middle of their set <clears throat> excuse me they'll do like a music breakdown where their dancers like um you know hype the crowd up and whatever so to me tlc was giving headliner but i could see if you know they were pulling out of the concert that they would give that to shaggy so i don't know how that <laughs> went about but it was it was it was so good y'all it was so good i'm so glad my mama um had the idea to go to this concert girl i gotta take these damn lashes off oh my god why are they on so hard oh my god the difference look at that how this eye looks and then that eye looks like lashes do a huge impact that doesn't make sense lashes make a huge impact okay um okay tlc was amazing shaggy <laughs> you know as i was sitting there i realized i need to clean this vent he looks insane oh my god i need to get some i can't reach up there but anyways okay as i was sitting there i realized that I probably only ever listened to one Shaggy album, and that's the one Mr. Bombastic. And I'm on the bathroom floor where she cheated on the, with the neighbor. You know, like, look, I can't even remember the song right now. But I don't really know his songs like that. So I, and I, I wasn't really connected, is what I'm trying to say. He looks great. He's a great entertainer. I didn't really, I didn't know ja Jaggy. I didn't know Shaggy was Jamaican. Apparently he is. Um, it was, it was, it was, it wasn't giving headliner for me. Even though the crowd was going up, the people that stayed, and that's what I'm saying, a lot of people left. A lot of people were there for TLC because after TLC performed, a lot of people left. It was so cute. It was this um, dad and daughter. Daughter had to be like, maybe eight nine ten like in that area and they was jamming it was it was so cute it, it was adorable um i don't know if she knew the songs or anything but she was jamming girl it was cute um but anyways y'all i'm about to take this makeup off uh it's so funny i just went to my uh little liquor store to get me some electrolytes and some things um, I should have got some candy. God damn. But he was like, um, he said, you look so hot today. <laughs> that is so funny, girl. Well, let me show y'all my hair. Because this, again, this is the first time I've ever styled my hair, y'all. And uh, this is it dried down. So, it still looks pretty. It looks pretty good. Like. He looks pretty good, y'all. And then I got some, um, in this bag, I went shopping at my mama's house. Because that's what you do. When you you move out and you go back to your mother's, 
you go shopping and you get out everything you need. So in this bag, I have two ginger ales, two, and then I have Aquafina water. I only had that because she bought that at the, uh, the store before we went to the concert. I didn't drink it. So I was just like, whatever, I'll take it home just for like emergency purposes. Because we all know Aquafina water is disgusting. And then <gasps> the most important thing. She made, what are they called, y'all? I mean, it's just beans and rice. But they're a special type of bean. Like, you know, I feel like every, like, person of color, even though black is not a person. Okay, we're not going to go there. We, you know, a lot of people have their different variations of rice and beans. My mama, I forgot what they're called. But it's, I, I swear, it's such a, this is how you know you grew up. <laughs> not so wealthy i won't say poor but not so wealthy that's my favorite dish my favorite dish as a kid rice and beans literally my favorite thing my mom cooks to this day is my it's my favorite thing so i had to bring me some rice and beans home i can't wait to tear them down and it has ham hock in it if you know you know so i will be eating that after i take my shower and um take this makeup off makeup still looks um pretty mm, yeah i'm not about to start lying but um yeah yeah i'm so excited about my rice and beans but anyways i hope y'all had a great uh what's today sunday 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 the vlog went up today thank you for tuning in um and thank you for tuning in to the upcoming content because we will be having some additional content some content that will come out before this video here so yeah y'all not i look hot today ain't nobody ever told me i look hot that's actually that is true that's a compliment i've never gotten before like sexy cute beautiful yeah hot Not my lashes. <laughs> Who in the same spot I left y'all in last last night, huh? I know. Um, I look. I feel a mess. I look a mess. My voice is kind of gone. I was screaming yesterday, girl. I girl. I'm tired. I just made me some breakfast. I'm mad because I don't have any coffee. I actually just put an order in on an espresso store, which is kind of my fault because I, I been should have did that. But um, I can't leave the house because I'm waiting on a package that requires a signature, and I don't. Like, I'm going to leave the house tomorrow. So, it's like, I might as well wait it out today because eventually I am going to need to leave the house. And I can't be playing around with UPS, girl. So, I'm about to eat my breakfast and um, watch Lily. And then, probably, girl, take a nap. Because I... I mm -mm -mm -mm. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us. They doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit your block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up Know you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? Y'all, I'm back home I want to show y'all this purifier I bought. I should have just waited till Prime Day. I ordered this a day before Prime Day. But girl, look at this. I did not know it was going to be this small. Like, <laughs> look at this thing. It is so tiny. Girl. I don't know what this thing supposed to do. It had good reviews on Amazon, so. Are we hoping for the best, girl? I bought that because I live in a building, like one building. 
And y'all know, well, you may not know, but you know, I partake in, 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 in the lettuce, if you know what I mean. And they've been like complaining about the smell or whatever. And you know, I do my best to not have it like the whole hallway smelling like it or whatever. So I was like, let me go on and get me an air purifier because you know, that's that if you a real, a real one, you know, that's what it's a lot of us use <laughs> not i'm over here talking in cold girl but to stop the smell it's good to have an air purifier or whatever especially if you like live in an apartment this is so tiny i'm looking at this thing like what in the world i do live in a small space but it ain't got that goddamn small so i hope that actually does something because <laughs> the air purifiers i've seen like they're big honey so i don't know I'm about to get ready to film some content. That's why my face is did up. Do it look did up? Why would I want to talk? Y'all want to get loud. Okay. So, um, I'm about to make me a little a drink. An Aperol spritz. I have never had Aperol spritz before. But I feel like scrolling on TikTok or something. I kept seeing it or whatever. And now I'm like, I want an Aperol spritz, girl. So... I showed y'all we went to Daiso or Dezo earlier. Let me show y'all what I got. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, we got two of these glasses. I was hoping they had something a little bit bigger than this because I feel like the Aperol Spritz, it comes in like a wine glass, but like a bigger wine glass. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Again, I, I ain't never ordered one before. So, we got two of those. And then it was, I think that means 200 yen or whatever. But girl, you know we didn't pay again. It was like, these are like $3 each, which I mean, they're pretty thick looking, honestly. And they have that cute like rainbow or iridescent look. I don't know what it's called girl, but yeah, these, they're definitely thick. And then what I'm most excited about are these, these bowls. I got two of these too. Like this is so cute. This definitely gives ramen. It gives rice bowl. Like this is a cute ass bowl. And these are only $2.50. That's cheap for like a cute aesthetic looking bowl like this. Like, come on now, you know, Target would have had these for $10. A piece so these are really cute I would recommend if you have a Daiso next near you definitely go check it out they have really cute home items they had much more stuff than this I don't think I showed y'all everything but they had like let me put this down girl. they had like plates they have um some little containers like where you can put your sauces in I wanted to get some of them but girl I was trying to rush because I started my cycle last night in the way that I'm so proud of myself because I've been up and at it today. Usually, girl, when I start my cycle, oh, that's it. That's that's it. I need to lay down, baby. I need to um, take a whole bunch of medicine, which I have been taking medicine because I knew I wanted to be productive today. And I'm like, I can't be laying in the bed with a heating pad today. It's not that day. I, so I did my hair clearly. Um, I got some new... Um, Foaming lotion, girl, it's the same brand. It's still even, but let me show y'all. So, remember I told y'all that I thought I liked that Mark Anthony one. And it's cool, but I just don't like how if you use too much of it, it's like hella noticeable because it's going to make your hair hella crunchy and like hard looking. And I don't like that. Like, I like for the curls to be defined, but I still like for the hair to be like soft to the touch. So I went back to even and obviously like this is easy to get. Girl, you just go to your local um, beauty supply. But this is a different one. I ain't never seen this one before. This is the moisturizing is it focused on here i can't even tell this is the moisturizing one i didn't even know they had this one um it's supposedly infused with sweet almond oil i'm saying it's supposedly like they lying girl 
they might be but <laughs> i got this one um what i like about this is like i said it lets the hair be soft and i know that because i ended up using both of them for the when i did my hair for the concert because i was running out of the mark anthony so i used a little bit of the even like on the hair that's in the ponytail and i kept like touching the ponytail because like compared to the rest of my hair it was just soft I was like, wait a minute. And y'all, I've been getting so many compliments on my hair. And it's like, this is the same goddamn wig I've been wearing. Like, yeah, I did a little a little up to do, a little happy up to do. But it's like, you would think I just did help. I mean, it, it, it does give a different look. It gives a different vibe. But it's insane the amount of compliments I've been getting on my hair and from people who've already seen this hair before. Like... And then y'all, a, a white man hit on me today. An older white man. I was like, uh-uh, it's the hair. It is the hair. It's definitely the hair, girl. I don't I don't know what to say. L let's make this drink. Let me clean these glasses so we can make this drink. Okay, y'all. So we got the Aperol, what else, hold on, okay y'all, so I have never made this before, but it does tell you how to make it on the back, so that's really cool girl, and it tell you what color it's supposed to be, it say no, no, okay. All right, so we gonna try to get the okay on our first try. Okay, y'all, y'all ready? <laughs> so, let's see. It say Prosecco on the bottom, Aperol, then soda. Is that enough? Oh my god, look at the cup. It's like changing colors, girl. Next, the Aperol. So I think you do a little less Aperol than Prosecco. Oh, this smell like, um, oh, it smells wrong. But it smells like, um, What's that stuff you put into uh, margaritas? That's what it gives. Oh, it's 11% alcohol. My Jesus. Okay. Oh, y'all. Okay, so remember, that's supposed to be the color. And then top it off. Oh, Jesus. With the orange mineral water. Is that it? Yeah, I think I got the color right. Oh my God. I think I got the color right, y'all. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm bartending. I be trying to tell people I'm a bartender. Look at that drink. That's the color it's supposed to be, y'all. Look at that. What color is it? Yeah. Yeah. The blood orange. <laughs> Oh my God, that is gorgeous. That might be the most beautiful drink I've ever made. Like, who cares how it tastes? We about to try it. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, okay. 
I got my straw. It's a big old straw for this, but I forgot to look for straws um, while I was out. Do a little stir. It might have been too much. Oh, don't put some glasses up too much. Wait a minute. Why is this good? The Aperol, as I thought, is orange liqueur. You can definitely taste the orange in there. And then it takes, if you drink Prosecco, you know Prosecco has like a bitter, like, aftertaste. I, get, I don't really know how to say it, but it just tastes bitter. It has like a bite on Prosecco. It takes that away. I don't know if it's the water, cause I use water. Um, you can. Um, it says to use like club soda, but I just use like a sparkling orange water. Um, this is good. And dare I say, it's like refreshing. Cheers, y'all. Y'all gotta make this, especially if you drink Prosecco. If you drink Prosecco, girl, make this. Let me know how you like it. This definitely, when I go out and I wanna be cute, I'm like, can I get an Aperol Spritz? Uh-huh. And this ain't nothing to play with. Prosecco is a high content. It's like 11%. The Aperol is 11%. I don't know how alcohol contents work. Like, do you add them together? I don't know, but regardless, that means this is this kind of this strong. This ain't, you know, this is sick. But I'm I'm obsessed. I will be making these. Obviously, I have a whole bottle, but make this y'all. <laughs> y'all, if I actually had all the boxes over here, you wouldn't even be able to see me. Watch. Hold on. And that's not even everything because there's another box over here. There we go. So we have some boxing to do, girls. <laughs> Who child, girl? I got me a drink because this is too much stuff. This is the Aperol Spritz that I showed y'all how to make yesterday. I ain't got a bra on, y'all. Mind your business. Okay. First up, I think this is from Amazon. This is from the Prime Day sale. I got a couple things from Prime. A couple. Who is this? Oh, girl. So this is some nail polish. So, girl, I'm about to start doing my nails, y'all. My own nails. I basically got me like a little gel egg set and um, we about to start practicing on me and my cousin. I would say my sister too, but she work a lot and I don't think she gonna let me do her nails unless I do them like hella short, girl. Oh, 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 okay. I opened that all wrong. I thought you were gonna be able to see the colors. Oh, you, you kind of can at the top. But I got like nudes and stuff. These hella small. Look at this small ass bottle. Girl. Hold on, I'm about to put y'all closer. Y'all seem like y'all kind of far away back there. Okay, so I got this organization, like little tray for my nails. I don't need to take that out right now for my nail clips or whatever. And then. Oh girl, I got a UV lamp. I'm over here sweating, honey. I have to turn the air on. Whew. It's kind of small. Let's see. I thought it was gonna have a closure. 
somewhere, but like, look at the lights under there. That look kind of crazy. And then it comes with a little plug-in or whatever. Not exactly what I expected, but th this was $10, I think. So, can you expect much for $10? I don't think so. Okay, all right. Next, we have um, an espresso girl. I ain't had an espresso pods in like a cool little month because I've been ordering, well I haven't been ordering, I've been going to this local um, Vietnamese place, Lee's Coffee. What the fuck is this? Girl, this is not my order. Girl, they sent me all of the same thing. They sent me all of these. This is not my order. What the hell is this? Oh my gosh. Oh hell no. I'm over here sweating. Wait a fucking minute. What? These aren't even for my, um, my my machine oh my god so clearly they sent me somebody order and they probably sent my order to somebody else because even the sample is not my machine i they've never done that before i'm gonna have to um oh my god that's so annoying i just knew i was gonna have a cup of coffee tomorrow that's annoying. So I have to contact them and let them know they sent me the wrong package. That's very annoying. Okay. See, that's, that's why we have a drink made. Because what? Next, we have another Amazon package. Oh, I'm gonna use this tonight. So this is a baby foot. This is a foot peel, girl. I've been using these for a couple years now, but I had honestly forgot about these. These are really good at getting the dead skin off the bottom of your feet. Girl, it's not your your average like um peel. Like this is gonna make your feet literally peel. Like you know how people get a chemical peel in the skin, like the dead skin peels off their face. This, is, that's gonna do this to your foot. And it's pretty expensive. It's like $25, maybe it was like $29. But when I tell you it's worth it, it's called baby foot and it really will have your foot feeling like a, I just hit the money. Okay. It will have your baby foot, it will have your foot feeling like a baby foot. Girl, I'm pissed off about my coffee. Like truly, I'm about, they, mm. I recommend this though, y'all. I recommend this. I'm gonna have, uh, Everything I guess linked down below that I can have linked down below. <sighs> Another Amazon package. Oh, fun, fun, fun. So this is the acrylic nail tip kit. This is uh from Motorons. It's pretty small to be a damn kit, girl. So it comes with the nail prep dehydrator and nail glue. And then it comes with a small little UV light. That's for like individual nail application. It comes with 500 acrylic nail tips. And I got them in coffin long. And then it comes with um, what the, is? the nail cutter. Yeah. And then it comes with a little manual and a little board. So that's cute, girl. That is cute. I don't know when I'm gonna try this out. I don't want the first time to be on myself. Is that crazy? 
don't know. I feel like that's not good. So, I can't wait to try this out. This is a cute little compact box, girl. So, we got that. And then I got the, a gel base and a top coat because the kit does not come with that. Whew. And then I got some um, nail brushes. Like, if I want to do, like, designs and if I want to do, like, uh, French tips or whatever, I got the brushes for that. Oh, that's exciting, y'all. Uh -huh. Pull that over there. Okay, I think this is the last Amazon package. Oh, uh, y'all, I got a new mic. I got a new mic because I noticed that in my videos, it be it be like this like this that like this like a I don't know like a static I don't know so I just upgraded the microphone I hope this is an upgrade because the microphone I'm using now came with the camera so I'm sure it's not the best quality um so yeah I'm very excited to use this y'all and it has some pretty good reviews so I'll definitely link that below if y'all looking for a new mic and this Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't open this with y'all. <laughs> okay. So, next. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. We got this book, this bag, this box. I'm stressed. I'm truly stressed. That coffee thing, I cannot believe they did that. <sighs> okay. I have to put this on the floor, y'all. Okay. This is from Sense. Sense is having a sale. I don't know if it's over yet, but I got this from their sale. Who, girl? I got this is my second essentials piece I've ordered, girl. The first one was so big, it's still sitting in my closet, not being able to be worn. These are some sweats, size extra large. But they're women's. Oh yeah, this look like I could fit it. These look like I could fit them. Okay, these are very cute. And one thing about it, this material, thick, honey, thick. So um, I can't wait to wear these. I just got the pants. I didn't get the matching top. I don't even know if they had that in um, stock. But it's funny because I think the top that I can't fit that's in my closet is the same color as this. It probably is the matching top, but girl, it's so big, it's ridiculous. I actually showed it to y'all in a vlog before, um, a couple vlogs back, and it's ridiculous how big it is. So I'm excited about these pants because I needed like some some cute like um, sweats or whatever, and then I've been wanting something from Essential, so it just kind of was like two things in one. Okay. Oh, this is too much shit. Next. Oh, I got these. Uh, I think these are slippers. Oh, then they came in a dust bag. What the hell type of slippers you know come in a dust bag? And this dust bag is hella soft. What in the world? Oh, these are cute as hell. Look at that. They look kind of big. Oh, USA to nine, but I don't know if these are women. These hella cute. And baby, they soft. Oh my God. Oh yeah, they a little big, but they are comfortable. Them cute, girl. Okay, and then next we have a pair of Asics.
absolutely can't fit these. If these are eight and ten, I can't fit these. Oh my god! I thought they was eight and women, y'all. What's going on? What is going on? Okay, that's not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to return that though. I'm not keeping that one. Oh my god! But you know what? I'm tired of ordering shelf lines. That is wrong. Oh, y'all. Oh, I can't show y'all these. I can't show y'all these. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Y'all gotta wait. I'm gonna I'm do a, a full video on these. These are from Ghani. These are my size. Let me see if these are my size. These are 38. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, they heavy like they should be. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. A box from New Balance. I got the one in the litter. I don't know. This guys. Right, these are all kids shoes. Just FYI. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, when did we all decide that these shoes were cute? Because these are dad shoes. But I got this cute little tan color, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, y'all. We got this hand. We got another one. We got blue. And these are in wide, I think. And they look wide. What the hell? And then the last pair. Hey. I got three pair and I don't know if I like them. Oh my god. I gotta try them on. I gotta try them on. I'm here today, y'all. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay, so I just got the phone with Nespresso, girl. If you ever have any um, problems with your Nespresso machine or your coffee order, just know the Nespresso uh, hotline is 24 hours. So that that's great. So, girl, so they said it's pro it was probably an oversight in the warehouse or whatever, and they said I could keep the coffee. I wish this could fit my machine. This, oh my God. This is for the original original machine. This is eight sleeves, eight. So they must love this. It's the Kazar um, Italiana, girl, I don't know. And I never will know because this will not fit in my machine. But I'm pissed, girl, I could have been set up for coffee because obviously, you know, they're gonna send out my order again. Um, but I can't use this and I don't know anyone to give it. Well, I'm about to say, am I recording? Yeah. And I don't know anyone to give it to because I don't know anyone who has an espresso machine. So it's like, should I keep this? Should I ask around? It's such a waste. Like if you buy an espresso coffee, this was like $80. This was at least $80. So that sucks. But... And it also sucks I have to wait for my coffee because I was looking forward to making me a cup of coffee tomorrow. I haven't had some in so long. But whatever. Um, I'll probably get my coffee. I'll probably have it by Friday. Or maybe it'll come tomorrow. No, it ain't gonna come tomorrow. But I just wanted to update y'all because I thought that was really cool that they were open. I didn't think I was gonna be able to talk to somebody. And they answered the phone quick, girl. Quick. So, um, yeah, that's that. So I feel a little bit better. Girl, I don't 
all them shoes I bought, the tennis shoes, none of them work. So I'm irritated, but I found out that I can take the New Balances back to the factory store. We don't have any like real New Balances stores, like like flagship stores. If that's the right word, that ain't the right word. But we have factory stores. So I have one like maybe 20 minutes from me. So I'll be doing that maybe to maybe not tomorrow maybe friday i'll take them new balances back all three of them i don't like any of them i don't like that style of the shoe so oh y'all and then we got to figure out how to send them asics back but whatever I'm, I'm a little disappointed y'all i'm over here trying to be a good vlogger and i did not put my battery back in my camera last night i was trying to uh charge it up well i did charge it and i didn't put the camera back in girl but um why i got a call yesterday from my old apartments that i ain't stayed in in like three years and they told me that i had a package delivered and when they told me who it was from i was like girl i gotta go get that package i hadn't told y'all yet this happened a couple weeks ago but girl I, I was laid off y'all i was laid off i work remotely so the company that i um used to work at they sent me basically the box to send back my um my tech and so yeah y'all we'll talk about it a little bit more later on but we're about to go to sally's since we're over here we're gonna go to sally's because i got some hair in um a couple of days ago and i want to actually like a uh, diet so we need some more bleach and some more developer and then we need a wig cap so we might as well do all of that while we're over here We have another package from Zara. It's upside down because I can't show y'all my damn address. Y'all, I'm sad. I feel very sad right now and I didn't even want to get on this camera. But there's some things in here that I really want to show y'all. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm about to cry? Hold on. All right, so Zara with the shit, you do not even need like, uh, um, cutter or whatever girl is incorporated into the bag but I'm just not feeling it um, right now I'm in my lonely bag which is like girl you do it to yourself but um, I ordered me some DoorDash I'm waiting on that to come okay Zara look at the packaging I don't even remember where I ordered for real. I don't remember that. Okay. Ooh. First up, we have this one sleeve shirt. All of this, all of this, all of this, all of this is from the Zara sale. So this was regularly twenty five ninety, but I got it for like twelve dollars, girl. Yes, and you already know, quality is top tier. What is? What is that? Top tier with Zara. So that is gorge. Had to run it in the white as well. Had to run it in the white. Yes. I cannot wait to put this on. I love quality. I love it. Okay, we got that. What else, girl? What else? Oh, what's this? Ooh, a mini. A midi dress quality as well girl this this low-key look like i got it from naked wardrobe wait a minute and it got some stretch yes ma'am uh, this was regularly 50 dollars, and i see why girl i think i paid like 10 or something girl oh uh, it's kind of thick though but yes this is quality honey and it got the, uh, oh no, it ain't got no slits on the side. But this is a nice quality black midi dress. I don't know what, what am I doing? Anyways, next. Oh girl. T-shirt. I got me a cute little t-shirt. Love this color, especially for the summer. And it has like this cute little, um, whole detailing like on the collar which is interesting 
it looks like moths were biting my shirt. We love that. And then we got this shirt. This is cute. This is cute. I wish y'all could feel it. Like it's thin, but it's still quality. I love Zara. I love Zara. You know what? I needed this. This is definitely improving my mood, okay? And y'all, they actually put this in front of my door. Um, I live in a building where we have like uh, boxes downstairs that we pay for. So really, I do prefer for them to use them. But girl, I opened my door. This was right in front of my door. I said, I know that's right. And then I got that same shirt that the moss bit at the uh, collar. I got it in black too, girl. And then, y'all, I tried it. I tried it for real. I got some jeans, but I tried it because I got them in a size 12. But I have a pair of Zara jeans and they're a size 12. Alrighty, I might be able to fit these. Maybe. They're definitely cute. I like them. So if I can't fit them, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure it out. But these are very cute. Yes. So these are the midway skinny and wash black. I think these were like these were definitely less than $20. I'm so sorry that I don't know exactly the prices of this stuff. And then I got these. I didn't realize I got both black. I could have swore I got a blue pair. Oh yeah, these definitely look like I could fit them. But these are a contour skinny. They're both very cute. I just did not realize I got two pair of black jeans. Damn, I might have to go back on the site. If I could fit these, I'm definitely going back. We might have to run it back. But y'all, what I really wanted to show y'all, why I really got on this camera, is because I got two perfumes and I wanted to try them out with y'all. So the first one is this. It is the Oud et Vanille in Magiste. Girl, I don't know. Sensual, uh, baby, that's not in English. Hold on, that's my door dash. period okay okay so um that was pretty quick i know that's right okay so it's just a little rollerball situation well actually i hope it ain't no damn rollerball um, and it's it, it's it's a roller it's a rollerball yeah that smells good Wait a minute. Girl, I'm I'm mad it's a roller ball, but that smells good. It definitely you can smell. I'm guessing that's oud, right? Oud. You can smell the oud, and you can definitely y'all just seeing all my little fat. The oud and the vanilla. Hmm, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. I don't know if I like it because I don't like vanilla. I only got this because it had the oud. Does that make sense? I don't know. And then this one is the inestimable Santal. Girl. Same rollerball situation, look like a, a damn test tube. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, let me put it on. I don't, I'm scared to put it on. I'm gonna put it on the same hand just down here. Oh, that, okay, that smells better on. I was scared of that. I thought that stunk. Oh, you know what? This is different. I think I like this. It's definitely giving night to her. This is just pissing me off now. What 
Period. Let me get my food, y'all. Gonna do it every motherfucking time, y'all. I ordered DoorDash from um Choli to Linda. Whew. If you went to Oakland, they got one in Alameda too. I feel like they didn't put enough limeade, but that's gonna hit every time. That's the uh strawberry and limeade agua fresca. Okay. It's the um Drew Drew. Drew. It's dried down a little bit, so I can give y'all a better review. Ooh, that vanilla. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it. The oud is strong. And if you know oud, oud is going to overpower. Like, oud is very strong. So, it makes sense that you mostly smell an oud. Like, you don't really smell vanilla. So, you can smell it, but it's like an afterthought. If you like oud and you like vanilla... You can get this and then layer it with another vanilla scent, I, I guess. Now this one, the Santal, when you smell it on, like when you first put it on, it's, it's strong as hell, girl. And it gives something you might not want to get. But when it dries down, it's actually pretty cute. Like, it definitely gets grown. It gets grown and it's not girly. Um... I wish I knew like another perfume to compare to that has some towels. I know there are some, but I just haven't smelled it myself. But this is actually nice. I actually kind of like this. Like I feel like it's definitely at nighttime. Like it's not an everyday scent. Definitely not. But this is nice. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one. This one, I'm gonna have to give it to somebody. I don't know who to get at too, but I'm gonna get out of whack. But yeah, y'all, that was my little Zara um Zara haul. I need to try these pants on at least by the day. Because if I can fit these, I definitely need to go back and give me some blue hair. Because girl, what am I doing? Turning into a gothic? Like, I mean that's low-key my the dream. I've had this key. But no, no, I need some blue jeans. So um yeah, y'all. I'm about to continue watching my vlogs. I'm watching uh Lily right now and Ruka. Ruka dropped the vlog. I was like, Ruka knew I needed something. I needed to feel something. So I'm definitely about to uh watch Ruka and then after I finish this food, I'm about to pour me up some rose. I I don't think I showed y'all the rose I got from uh Trader Joe's. I'm about to show it to y'all, but I guess it's new girl because I only got it because I heard the workers talking about it. And she was like, it was a black woman. She was like, girl, I don't even like rosé. She said, but I bought a bottle. She said, I came back and bought three more bottles. Girl, I had to act like I wasn't listening. And then when they walked away, girl, I went and grabbed me a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl, I think I'm just hungry. I think I'm hungry. Honestly, that's probably part of the reason why I'm sad. Like, yeah, there's other reasons, but baby, you're hungry. Let me go eat, y'all. Cavalli in the parking lot girl but from the outlets baby it's so hot out here like living in oakland you will really be bamboozled because it don't get that hot in oakland and even if it is hot it's going to be kind of like a breeze from the bay coming in girl look what i got on i got on this two-piece and it's not even like 
warm, but it's like a hundred, it's 97. It said my car, it says 97. And the woman in the cosmetic store said it's supposed to be like a hundred and something today. What? Girl, um, but anyways, she was so nice, the girl in the cosmetic store, cause I put my camera on, I wasn't like recording, but I put my camera on the um, counter and she was like, oh, what you recording? And I was like, oh, I vlog or whatever. And girl, she was being real nice after that. And I told her how, like, I live in Oakland. I don't know how we got on that subject. But she was like, oh, yeah, you did not know it was hot. No, I did not. And, um, girl, she shook my hand, asked me what my name was, and she gave me a little gift. I don't know what it is. It's too hot to be even trying to figure it out, baby. Um, I want to go home. I need to get back to Oakland. It's too hot. I, my wig absolutely didn't slid back, girl. Like, it's too much. People was looking at me probably because they like why the fuck she got all them clothes on like but i got some good fragrances y'all the only thing i bought was fragrances and i got um some concealer to contour with what's going on with the camera Let, let's get back to, on our side of town Let me pause this because y'all ain't about to get me on no copyright. Y'all, so I'm back home from getting, going to happy hour from uh, Lake Chalet. That was pretty cool, girl. I It was fun. I mean, it was interesting, I will say. I got to people watch and I got a free drink, girl. The bartender, he was kind of cute, girl. He gave me a free drink, girl, and um, he was mad because, <clears throat> excuse me, when I first walked in there, I didn't understand the rules of the happy hour, and I thought I had to order at the bar, but once I sat down, the waitress came, but at first I ordered at the bar with him, and that's when I first ordered my drink or whatever, and so I ended up starting to order with the waitress. And so I eventually came back to him because I had started a tab and he had my cord. So I was like, let me go get my cord, but also let me go get another drink. Cause happy hour is about to end girl. So I'm like, let me get another drink. Um, <clears throat> so he was like, are you sitting right there? Cause I knew he had already saw, I knew he peeped that I was sitting right there. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sitting right there. And he was like, wow. So you just ordering with other people? You order with other people. And I'm like, look, I was not about to keep getting up and down. I'm by myself. Like, look, I, I needed a waitress. And he was like, that's crazy. You would just order with other people. And I'm like, sir, I see you're trying to flirt, but look. So he, um, I had ordered two drinks with him, but he only ordered, he only rung up one drink. And I was like, okay, I see you. So I gave him a pretty nice tip. Um, I would have gave him a tip anyway, but you know, I gave him a pretty nice tip so since he didn't like charge me for my other drink or whatever, but it was pretty cute girl. The drinks were strong as hell and I don't know if they were strong because he was like, he was, he was trying to impress me or because maybe because I haven't ate for real. I don't know girl but i got the i got some um tuna pokey which was really good i got some um what else the chicken slider was not good would not recommend and then i got oh the truffle fries i thought i did not like truffle but the truffle fries was actually pretty good girl they came with like this pesto sauce and um catch up but the pesto sauce was really good i was so surprised girl it was so good but i was at this big ass table that was meant for like eight people i was i was sitting at this big ass table girl and i was hoping somebody said something so i could cuss them out and nobody said nothing of course well now i look lazy eyed what the fuck that was that's what happened when i get a little tipsy anyways I'm cooking me a samosa right now. Was that what it's called? Something like that. I'm cooking me something to eat. <laughs> this is the best. 
I just came from eating, but I'm cooking me something to eat. Because honestly, Lake Chalet's menu is not it. Like, girl. I don't like their menu. I wish they had like a crab dip. I should have got some bread. Because I probably would have tore that bread up. But it's just not it. Oh, I got some oysters too. The oysters are pretty good. But I didn't get nothing that would really sit on my stomach besides the fries. So I'm about to eat the samosa or whatever the hell this is. And then I'm about to go get some hookah. I'm going to um, catch Uber there. It's not too far from me. Um, usually I hate catching Uber. Um... I just don't like it but since it's not too far i was just like whatever and then girl why on my way home i hit a fucking pole in the garage oh my god i think it's because i needed to use the bathroom and i was hot i think i was just overwhelmed because i have been parking in this parking spot forever and I hit a pole that was just like I was turning the corner and then I turned the corner too tight and I hit the pole. I think it is it's very noticeable. It's very noticeable. So I I think though like I just kind of scraped it. So I think it's just like paint that can be wiped off. And my car is so dirty right now. So I feel like if I go get like a paint and a wax, um it'll be fixed or whatever girl but it's time to turn over my things so i'm gonna check in with y'all later